Welcome back to my armor belt. Last time I made a top and had a lot of difficulty. So yeah, turns out that thing that was causing tension was not supposed to be causing tension. So uh, it has been dealt with. So this time, unlike the last time around, I don't have a pattern ready because I've never really had to make shorts before so um, what I'm going to do is attempt to make one from scratch and see how this goes. Ooh, that was a new So what I'm going to do is start off, um, I've got a sheet of paper, this is the same paper I use for patterning with armour, I mean you've seen it a ton of times before, it's just wall repair wallpaper, and this is a pair of jeans that I know fit. Oh, autofocus, I hate you. So, yeah. Now, this is going to be an approximate pattern, not accurate at all, but it's something to start with, so that's what I'm starting with. The back is supposed to be cut higher than the front. Which is a good reason to use the uh, biggest point to start with. But unfortunately this thing does not flatten out properly, so... relatively the same, just way slanted off towards that side, but that is the pattern that they drew. Yeah, there's... Okay, there you go. I've got to go down the leg a bit anyway, so that's about right. And that's about right. So what I'm going to do is fold it in half. Not using those scissors because those are fabric scissors. Every person who has ever done cloth has made it very clear the importance of fabric scissors. Approximate of where the center is. So I'm going to say that's the center line.
we've got like that. Now, this is going to have two seams. It's going to have sewn, which is, sorry, three. Because it's one, two, and three when it's sewn. So we're going to take that over here. Put that somewhere safe because we don't want to lose it. I know at the moment it's too big, but it's going to get bigger again. Then I'm going to cut it back and pin it down to shape. This is possibly the worst way to do this. That was my uh, reserve of glue that just went away. Where's the bit that I've cut? That looks intact, so let's go from this end. Dahita does say very specifically do not cover, so I'm going to have to uncover it in a second. Now can I get it onto this or not? That's the question. Like it okay, we can go right the way down to the edge down here because that's a fresh cut that I did, not a factory cut. to have a bit of a waistband on it, so um, I'll go over a little more of that. Oh, knock it out just so it looks less bad. those two marked up. I do like how much this black on white turns up on camera. So of course add a bit onto the edge of seam allowance just you know, I'm going to mess this up. I know that. Everyone knows that. So, using the roll off, it's much easier to add material than it is 
or remove material and it is to add it. Okay, so number one is like that. Because I drew them so close together, I'm going to uh, carefully cut this one. my bit of chalk off. Now you may wonder why I uh, didn't to just draw these allowances onto the original. I mean, look, if you ever have to ask that question, I'm lazy, that's the reason. That's what it'll always be. That's folded. I usually wait till I have things done, but I can't. I know I'm going to get to the end, so I'm just going to chuck it all in a pile. Now, I don't know how this is going to end up, ultimately. It's been a long time since I tried to make a piece of clothing using another as a template. jacket I was using was much too small and in a move that surprises nobody the top I made out of it ended up being far too small. But this time I'm using something that fits properly. Admittedly, also those aren't uh, solid jeans, they stretch. And the fact that I'm using a stretchy fabric really means it's going to help with the you've made the wrong size again, you absolute fool element.
swapping sides because it's easier to cut like this than it is to do that little circular bit in the middle. Think lazy and convenient. 100% of what I do. Also, to be fair, if this works first time, this is probably going to only take me an hour. But that's assuming the sewing machine works. I do my job right, everything works okay. I'm not going to have to uh, redo the sizings. This was supposed to be just a quick project that like takes a few days to get me back to making armor again on stream. No. Turns out big project, big build, gonna take ages. Maybe I'm just being over ambitious. Unfortunately, these are mirrored, so it does not matter, in theory. That's one edge and that's the other edge. So that's one corner. That's the other corner. All I'm doing here is lining up corners with each other. Then I'm going to go around and uh, that's a top corner, that's a top corner. Because once you've got all of the corners aligned, the thing should fit, in theory. I mean, that is close enough. I'm okay with it. That's one corner and the other. And this one, that's one corner. And that's the other. Now when I'm doing that, uh, if you can't see what I'm doing, because I have no idea what you're able to see, I get my thumb, put it in the corner like that, then flip it over, find the equivalent corner which is there, put my thumb in the center of that, then I know those two corners are aligned when I pin them together. So we've got a corner here, and a corner up there. Just put thumb in the back corner. This one isn't very clear, so it's a bad example, but the pin's gone through and it's now one piece. Like that. Now 
And I'm just going to pin around so that... I mean, it's obvious what I'm doing by now, right? Just pin around the outside so it can all be held together as it's going through the sewing machine. Admittedly, this bit ain't getting sewed together, but it's just for alignment at this point. Because the point of the pins is just to, uh, like, get the two pieces securely held together. It doesn't matter if you're using too many pins, just that's more you've got to pull out at the end. Now the problem here is we've got a little fold at the back. That's going to have to be sewn up to the top there, but that's going to be folded back like that in the end. Possibly once or twice, I haven't decided yet. That's why I left so much there, so I could fold over in the event I had to. But that does mean it's getting sewed all the way to the top. And of course, it is just up to my restraint to stop me from going around over the top when I sew. I just have to remember not to when it comes to it. Like with, <coughs> sorry, pinning is like masking with painting. It's really damn important, but tedious. I'm sorry to people who actually enjoy pinning. I'm sure you love it, but... Oh my god, this is just really boring. slight problem. I don't know if you can see it, but it was a bit of chalk so I can point it out. This is the top and that line, that line along the top there, if you can see it, I don't know is the uh, bit that's too much and I can clearly see that one starts there so that goes in that type of direction so I'm just going to cut off all of the uh, bit that goes too much or all of the excess now I'm just lopping it all off quick I don't really care about accuracy here it's 
just get the edges once a quick once round because. It, uh, if it goes too much on one side and I sew onto that, it'll fall apart when I try to put it on. So it's a case of I may as well cut off the chaff now and then I don't have to worry about... All of the excess later. I'm considering the fact that my seam allowance was hand drawn. This is actually pretty close. It's only a little bit over to either side. So yeah, this is actually going pretty well. Okay, so you're too far that side and you're too far this side. Start a little bit. To note all of the loose scraggly bits I'm doing now. Going to be on the inside. So, that's why I'm not so bothered about them. Big. These are probably too big, but we'll find out. So let's hope that my fix worked. My fix being a purple pipe cleaner. Because of course it would. Why wouldn't I do something tacky? this works. Ah. 
actually looks pretty good. you look down there because it's really dark but if it was all uh, screwed up on the back I'd be able to feel it Usually I'd run it all the way, but this is a throwaway seam, so I don't really care. And yes, if this turns out to be right first time, one, I'm going to be annoyed. Two, I'm going to be really annoyed. And three. I think we all know I'm going to be annoyed. Let's <laughs> just tie it in a little bit. You know, at this point, these jeans are a little loose. They fitted me before uh, everyone started panic buying food, and I couldn't eat for two months. <laughs> so, to say that they're probably big on me now <coughs> is a minor understatement. If anything's the bottom's a little tight this time. It's okay, I can't just tighten this on the bottom. I can, I have to clean it all out and dismantle it and XYZ. like I'm not lazy. And I was specifically doing it the hard way then going, yeah, it's because I'm lazy. It isn't really, I just wanted to make some stuff, so. <laughs> and plus, you don't really learn sewing if you don't ever try to learn or practice. Like most things.
And of course when I'm feeding stuff through I've got to be careful because this is sharp now. Maybe because I filled it with little pins. Maybe because it just looks stylish. <laughs> it's the pins. I waste way too much thread doing that but I don't have the confidence to do this on a small area so I give myself loads so I don't have to worry too much. You back in the pin cushion so I don't lose you. Now to be fair, when I put this on, it's going to be huge because it's going to be way too tall, way too long, just way too everything, but that's fine. Because I've got extra there for the, um, I don't even know what it's called. Hem? Section on the end to avoid fraying. I believe it is called a hem. I think. <laughs> I'm an electrical engineer, not a seamstress, so my apologies if my uh, sewing knowledge isn't the best. I know the needle and thread go together. And I've worked out the basic mechanical operation of a sewing machine, which... I say basic mechanical operation because you saw last time.
You know you start something and you did not think through how that was going to go? That. That's exactly what's going on here. up the top is just supposed to add the same amount that the uh, little one in there has got but it got out of control somehow I mean I've attempted to clean it and nothing's happened so uh... Yes, in the end, I did just look up YouTube tutorials and it was just like, oh yeah, there's probably just some dirt on the friction desks and I just see them clean the friction desk and I'm just like, that's not where the friction is. Whoops. Definitely not where my friction problem is, and it's like, ah, it's probably not your friction discs then. Yeah. note the bit that is actually the tensioner is there in the machine my problems back here Is literally every reason I have a pin in this thing at the moment, so I can pull them all out. So we'll turn that off, move out the way. Flick this back in. So apparently the different design of uh, pin cushions actually have different functions. I think it's a smart way to do it, but I'm equally surprised by the fact there are different functions of pin cushion. I always figured they were just something that you stick pins in. I can't remember what the functions are, but... I know there's one that's supposed to sharpen them because, you, you, you know, 
these things aren't sharp enough by in some people's opinions. Also, um, if you're doing this with a uh, like material, so if I wanted to make a t-shirt, I could literally just lay the t-shirt I'm currently wearing on top of this type of fabric and do this to produce another one. But also, once you've done that, you can then start modifying the pattern to make it into whatever you want. So if you want to put long sleeves on your t-shirt, you can. Oh crap. It stays like this, I'm glad I have a concrete floor, but um absolute monstrosity. And no, I can't show you. Two very good reasons. One, fixed camera. And two, um, don't service. like most of the way up my chest now. So that's actually fitting pretty well. I'm surprised, to be fair. Yep, and... Okay, pin. At the moment, I'm just pinning the shorts on so that they actually fit. They're relatively close, so. And I'm actually surprised by how close these things are to fitting. Unfortunately, I don't have a second camera to show this. So. Okay, and ow, 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 ow. Taking off something that's got a ton of pins in it is painful. So I've drawn the line where the top's going to be along there and the row of pins is where it needs to be touching so that's pretty good. 
I mean, for a random guess, that row of pins there, then go out to that line, then that row. Let's pack them up, get them into the sewing machine. to actually be a proper shape. <sighs> yeah, I know. So realistically, it's only those little bits there that actually need fixing up. Which I'm not the happiest about because of where they are, but... Nah, it's fine. Okay, so... And of course we've got the top belt, which um, which will fold down sort of like that. And that'll be fine. We can just uh, run a double seam around it and that'll be fine. It's still a little bit higher than I like, but... sides. That's not perfect, but considering the fact that the white line on there was drawn around my back, I think it's coming out pretty good. Oh, we'll see. Okay, and of course the bottom of the shorts. like that. So to there should be fine. So pin. I 
Also, if you want to reduce the size of a t-shirt, this is a very similar technique. Of course, proper t-shirts are sewn far better than this. I'm designed better than this. Okay, I have a plan for multi-camera after I have finished this project. But I've got to like rebuild some old computers to do it. It's a whole lot of faff. Okay, so now I can bring back the sewing machine. Okay, the, the return stitches look nicer. I had the tension a little bit too high. Grab those four together. Yep. 
Hey. Is it going to go through? Yeah, just about. <laughs> Let's hope that's the one time I have to do that. Yeah, I shouldn't have to, but yeah, I am not have my clothes fall apart in a convention, damn it. another window open I don't actually have any music going yeah but no it's a uh, it's Dragon Ball Z themed armor costume that's uh, basically going for the Saiyan armor but these are <laughs> Pretty much the equivalent to what Raditz is wearing in the first appearance. <laughs> Unfortunately, the large plates are done, and I like that, but the cloth bit had my last. So I've got that that goes uh, on top, but I just need some uh, stuff for underneath. The Dragon Ball Bridged does give a pretty accurate assessment of the show. But now, uh, when I designed this, I went with the one the chest designs from the uh, Cell Saga, the like waist design is designed to be added onto that from the original, the bottom clothes are from the basic series, so.
well, I started watching it when I was little, so it's not really that intimidating for me, but happy. I mean, 90% of it is just Goku standing there shouting, charging a spirit bomb. I mean, to be fair, it only happened because of the, uh, but, oh well, because they had to make the time for the series, or for the thing to catch up again. <laughs> Pretty much. They did. Team Four Star did do a pretty good job at representing what actually happened. I'm guessing if they were completely inaccurate, nobody would find it quite so funny. seen the Helsing series. I pretty much discovered them due to Dragon Ball Bridge, but they well if they remain that accurate, it could be a good way to learn the basic story. Good, is it? Well, when I have some free time, I might actually watch that. Good to know because I've never seen Helsing. Anything. 
There's so much in anime that isn't just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, even the ultra-realistic ones tend to be a bit on the silly side. I know, I could actually make enemies with saying that, but... Okay, so, uh, see you some other time. Have a good day of work, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Okay, let's just grab that other one. I'm not looking forward to doing those two legs. I missed one. Oh well. Just tie it into the knot. It'll be fine. So, So yeah, like long-term plans for this involves going back to the original, where I had a two-camera setup. But the second camera is going to be pointing at the work done so far. Because, you know, I have a full set of plate made up and... No one can see it down to the fact that or well, down to the fact that like I don't have any way to put it. <laughs> so the plan is I've got an old dead computer and I've got one that's sort of working. I'm going to swap the CPUs over from them. So that's pretty much what I'm doing once I'm done with this. Like the next stream will be me rebuilding computers.
And yeah, I know, building a PC is just Lego for adults, but... Okay, now that was stupid. Cut off the excess first. Sorry, trim. a little bit over the top of that cutting or with the sewing but that's because those are going to be main seams and I'm going to be cutting the original seam when I do this So I'd really love to have music on my stream. <laughs> understatement if the whole thing unfolds it's a disaster so Get those pins somewhere safe so they don't end up in my foot. I've had enough pins in my foot, I don't want any more.
Now I have no idea whether doing that will even be effective. <laughs> I just feel that having to make it rip itself around in circles for a bit will discourage it from uh, pulling out. Last one. Let's get that little bit of a trim. Chuck the excess and let's roll again. still Fred in the middle. Had to check. This is going to be interesting. Stopping it may slow you down, but it does mean you're less like a needle in the finger, and you don't want that. Okay, you may want that, I don't. We need to get these two back on that side. through a few more times.
Nope, missed one. No. Okay, I don't care. It's been through three or four, like two or three times, and that's good enough. Considering the fact that I consider three to four to be the standard of what I do, it's not worth the amount of time I was spending to go for the fourth. Okay, if anything, they are too long. It's an interesting position, but... Oh, wait, no, okay. Okay, so that's one more fold on the top. And... Why test fitting is important when you're designing. This needs to drop down by another fold. Otherwise they fit fine. on top. I figured I'd end up having to do this. One of the things that happens when you make up a pattern. Oh, 
Most of the time, it'll be wrong. And yeah, when I put that on, I folded it into the shape that I'm making now, just to make sure they all fit. That's how I know it fits. Also, I'm using a zigzag stitch so it can still stretch. Do I just cut it off and start over? Yeah, because that top section's all right, but... So I mean, like, if I cut it back, here and fold it over or do I just I think so I've got to do the same to both of them fold over. Do you know, when I'm wearing these, I'm going to be wearing like proper shorts as well underneath, because, um, well, you, you don't want the uh, bits falling out of the show, for obvious reasons. Pin in finger. You get used to it, but it never gets pleasant, just you know, less hurtful. <laughs> So I had to make up my mind of how to do that.
Now I'm moving these right up to the top so that when I sew it in, it uh, has enough space for the foot of the sewing machine. These are actually going in much nicer now. sewing machine just does not care when I'm trying to shove it from tons of stuff. Wow, 
okay, I'm being mean to that needle. Okay, that's good enough. That was all Ken tied in knots. It's uh, not going to be so he not. It's not going to be salvageable after that. So I know when to call my losses. Or to cut my losses. But I also would make that uh, waistband any thicker than it is. It's already stupidly big. It's okay, it's not near anything it can dislocate, so it doesn't really matter. So the one on the bottom ran out there. Like the actual bobbin ran out and like it, it ran out exactly like at the last set. Or it ran out almost exactly as that ended. While I'm doing this, I'm going to chuck that on. Set that to run slow. Then I can deal with this over here. Just let it slowly run around.
with common colors that I use, like black, because I'm going to be using this quite a bit. I uh, just let it run. Doesn't matter if it 100% fails. The only times it becomes a problem is when some jerk like me gets involved. Specified. Drop the cover back on. Now you are supposed to cut that off. They give you a nice little blade there to do it with. I don't do that. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I am just saying I don't. No, I specifically don't do it because it's easier to pick out when you've got a lot of string on it and it's like if you actually cut it off you'll have like five mil sticking out whereas if you do cut it off you'll have like oh, okay now if you do cut it off you have about five millimeters sticking out if you don't cut it off you've got however much you've got left here sticking out that you can pull it with. I was very lucky with this. Okay, I couldn't salvage that. Helpful if you actually run the top string, right? As you can see, my extension. I have more than okay you only need like a centimeter but you just need enough that you can grab it easily and that doesn't give me enough now everyone's different and you may have enough from there but I certainly do not
And yes, I can run it at full speed. <laughs> Choose not to. Bad machine. Trying to stab me in the hand again. When I say again, it uh, nearly got me on one of my last projects. A really long day, I was stressed, I was dehydrated, was not having a great day. I should have stopped earlier, but I didn't. Kept going and like I uh, basically the needle was running at full, uh, I was running it at full speed and my hand was going towards it and like literally my hand went underneath and the needle dropped and the machine jammed up just as it was about to hit. It's like my machine, it completely locked up, was not functioning at all. And then when I looked down, it was like the needle was about to go into my hand. And I was like, oh, that's some luck. <laughs> I better be more careful in the future because I don't want to be relying on luck my entire life. As my friend will proudly say, he has once sewed an entire glove to his hand. I've, well, I don't think there is a cosplayer out there who hasn't had uh, proper burns from hot glue gun. I mean, I know I have. I've done them on stream. <laughs> I'm yet to have any really serious accidents though, luckily. And I hope it stays that way. I don't want to get injured. Okay, so let's give this a little trim. To be fair, I did not know what any of these fabrics were called when I started, but thankfully the uh, lady in the fabric shop has been telling me what I'm buying. Whereas I'm never too sure when it comes to that kind of thing, whether they're attempting to be helpful or whether they've just had enough of me going. I 
Like some fabric, please. So, what type of fabric? Give me a minute. <laughs> sort of stretchy. Way stretch. This ways of stretch. What? <laughs> Here's a T-shirt. This kind of stuff. So, right, how do we get rid of it? So much worse than this before. Oof. So, um, my sewing machine's working again. But, so, there you go, we now have a pair of shorts to go underneath the armour and a top to go underneath the armour. To decide a way to present these, so they don't look awful. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> and right on time actually. So, the only thing left on this is the uh, ceiling on the paint, and I can't do anything like that on stream. So, this is going to be the end of the series. I mean. Thanks to everyone who came, everyone who came to say hi. It's been uh, nice to meet you all. And well, uh, two days we're streaming again for building. I'm going to be fixing two computers to hopefully get off the 12 year old PC that's running this stream now. <laughs> hopefully get something a little bit more modern. I don't have a plan for after that, but I'm starting to make one up. When I think of something, I will certainly be doing it. I don't know, might be making a prop, might be like making a little miniature, might be painting something, I don't know. Sorry, yeah, I didn't plan well, but if we, thanks for coming, hope to see you next time. Where's my hands? Bye. Yeah, that's the right hand. <laughs> okay.